This is Film Bookcast. Film Bookcast. Film Bookcast. The official podcast of Film Book. Get ready for the latest in film news, TV show news, and theatrical reviews. Film Book's podcast starts now. Welcome to Film Bookcast the official podcast of Filmbook. My name is Chris Banks. If you're tuning in for the first time, what I do on Filmbook has, I discuss the latest film and TV show news. I also review an in-theater film. You can find more about Filmbookcast on film-book.com by using the search term Filmbookcast. You can also email us at podcast at film-book.com with Filmbookcast in the subject line. This week in movie trailers, anybody in the mood for a Brad Pitt comeback? He's coming in for the kill on this upcoming film, Bullet Train. It's directed by Deadpool 2 filmmaker David Leitch. It's based on a novel titled Mary a Beetle. Brad Pitt is an experienced assassin who boards a bullet train and encounters several other professional killers. Everything quickly spirals out of control. The trailer is an intense, fast-paced action film that really shows Brad in a, in a way that we haven't seen him in a long time. Check out the trailer for Bullet Train. It'll be in theaters July 15th. Another hilarious trailer that debuted this week comes from Jude Apatow, and it's going to be on Netflix. It's called The Bubble. The pandemic set comedy is about the cast and crew of a blockbuster franchise who try to make a sequel while quarantining at a posh hotel somewhere in England. The trailer is nearly three minutes, and it gives us Tropic Thunder vibes, but it actually looks like a really funny film. It's set, it's a fake movie set in an actual movie, so I, I love these kind of movies. The cast is stacked. Leslie Mann, Karen Gillan, Pedro Pascal, Leslie Mann, Fred Armiston. So many people are in this movie. Check out the trailer for The Bubble. It'll debut on Netflix April 1st. The last film trailer we'll talk about this week is a film titled Uma, U-M-M-A. It comes from us from Sony Pictures. It's a supernatural thriller starring Sandra Oh. The trailer is actually very beautiful. It starts softly, but the intensity grows as the trailer trailer bleeds check out the trailer for uma it'll be in theaters march 18th that's it for movie trailers this week in tv trailers hbo max just unveiled the official julia trailer for its forthcoming biographical comedy drama based on the extraordinary life of the iconic chef and tv personality julia child the series is scheduled to make its debut on thursday march 31st with the first three episodes followed by one episode every week through May 5th. In the trailer, Sarah Lanshire's portrayal of Julia Child looks to be an incredible representation of everything that Julia went through regarding sexism and stereotypes to get her first cooking show. Check out the trailer. Julia will debut on HBO with its first three episodes, like I said, on Thursday, March 31st. Another TV trailer will talk about this week it's kids versus robots in netflix's upcoming sci-fi action series the last bus it'll be a 10 episode series that'll it'll start streaming on april 1st it's written and directed by paul nefke the plot synopsis is after embarking on a life-changing field trip a group of whip smart and mismatched students become the unlikely heroes when a robot apocalypse zaps away the rest of humanity check out the trailer for the last bus it'll debut on netflix april 1st finally the last tv trailer we'll talk about about this week is Atlanta. Season 3 officially unveiled its trailer, which gave us a little more sense of the European setting that, that the series will be set in, but it didn't give much away in terms of the story. The trailer reveals that after exploring the title city like no one before them, Ern, Alfred, Darius, and Van will witness the weird humans from Europe as they go on tour across the pond. And apparently, they're checking off all the mandatory Eurotrip boxes, including waking up next to strangers, visiting the Red District, and getting lost in translation. There's a lot of footage in the trailer that really needs context to be understood like a random peacock in a club but i'm sure that the series will give us the backstory about what we're what we have questions about the series has already been renewed for its for a fourth and final season and we'll keep up with news as atlanta season three premieres on fx march 24th that's it for tv trailers let's switch up gears and check out some home releases from this week now available on dvd is a film titled i was a simple man it's a ghost story set in the pastoral countryside side of the north shore of hawaii revealed in four chapters i was a simple man tells the story of an elderly man facing the end of his life visited by ghosts of his past incorporating familial history and mythology dream logic and surrealism the film is a cladocope story of a fractured family facing the death of the patriarch 
that will take us through the high rises of contemporary Honolulu to pre-World War II and finally into the beyond. I Was a Simple Man got an 83 meter score and is now available on DVD. Breaking Bread is now available on DVD. The first Muslim Arab to win Israel's Master Chef is on a quest to make social change through food. And so she found the Asham Arabic Food Festival, where pairs of Arab and Jewish chefs collaborate on exotic dishes, and Breaking Bread is now available on DVD. It got a 62 meter score. Belfast is now available on DVD. Belfast is the poignant story of love, laughter, and loss in one boy's childhood amid the music and social turmoil of the late 1960s. Belfast got a 75 meter score and is now available on DVD. That's it for home releases from this week. Let's check out some TV news from this week. Exciting TV news of fans of HBO Max's Titans as Season 4 has officially began production. Executive producer Richard Haddam took to Twitter this week to confirm that the forthcoming fourth season has officially begun filming. It comes four months after the third season concluded its 13-episode run, but plot details are being kept tightly under wraps. But exciting news for fans of Titans, and we'll keep up with news as it breaks as they start production of the fourth season. Some more exciting TV news that broke this week. Fans of Yellowstone will be excited as the fourth season will debut on Peacock Monday, March 28th. The family drama was already granted a fifth season after its latest season garnered over 15 million viewers. Production of the fifth season will start this May. The series chronicles the Dutton family led by John Dutton, who controls the largest contiguous cattle ranch in the United States. Amid shifting alliances, unsolved murders, open wounds, and hard-earned respect, the ranch is in constant conflict with those in, with those at borders, an expanding town and Indian reservation in America's First National Park. Check out the debut of the fourth season of Yellowstone on Peacock, March 28th. The last piece of news we'll check out this week, Peacock's Pitch Perfect series adds Jamila Jamil, Sarah Hyland, and Lara Abova to the cast, joining Adam Devine and Flula Boer. The series is going to be a spin-off of the popular Pitch Perfect film franchise. The production is expected to start soon in Germany. The series will be led by Adam Devine as he, rep- as he reprises his role of Bumper, the former leader of the Troublemakers. We'll keep up with news as production is starting in Berlin soon. That's it for TV news. This week in film news, Oscar nominee Ariana DeBose has joined the film Craven the Hunter. She'll play the role of Calypso, and the film also stars Russell Crowe and Fred Hitchinger. Fred Hitchinger. Calypso is described as a voodoo priestess who utilizes magic potions and besides an, and besides being an adversary of Spider-Man, she's also the occasional partner and lover of Craven. Craven the Hunter will be directed by J.C. Chander, and will debut in theaters January 2023. Another piece of exciting film news, HBO's upcoming prequel film, Furiosa, has its lead antagonist. A new book titled Blood, Sweat, and Chrome, The Wild and True Story of Mad Max, Fury Road, New York Times colonist Kyle Buchanan gives readers an oral story of the making of George Miller's acclaimed 2015 film. The book includes over 130 new interviews, and the assistant director revealed a key new detail about a new character in in Warner Brothers' upcoming Mad Max prequel. Chris Hemsworth is set to play the film's lead antagonist. We'll keep up with news about Furiosa as it's set to debut on HBO Max in 2023. The last bit of film news we'll check out this week. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Rupert Friend has been tapped to star in Netflix's upcoming action sci-fi film Rebel Moon. Zack Snyder is set to direct the film, and it's described as a man who leads the armies and is expected to go up against Sofia Boutella's leading character. The film is set in a peaceful colony on the edge of the galaxy that finds itself threatened by the armies of the tyrannical region Belisarius. They dispatch a young woman with a mysterious past to seek out warriors from neighboring planets to help them take the stand of the tyrant. We'll keep up with news about Rebel Moon as I'm sure they'll begin production this April. That's it for film news. Thanks so much for checking us out this week. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Film Bookcast. You can find more of my work on film-book.com. Just search for Chris Banks or Film Bookcast. You can also find me on Twitter. I'm at C Banksy. That's S-E-E Banksy. I'm also on Instagram at the Chris Banks. If you listen to this podcast on iTunes or another podcast service, please rate and review this episode. If you're listening to this podcast on our YouTube channel, Film Book Podcast, please like our video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment in the comment section. It really helps other people discover our podcast. 
please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com slash filmbook. Your support really helps us create more engaging content. You'll find our Patreon link below in the description. If you want to tweet about this podcast, just use the hashtag filmbookcast. Tune in next week for the next episode of the Filmbookcast. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you then.